Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as Chichen Itza, also known as Chicken Pizza. So, um, right now, we are in a very, um, disturbing moment. Kolomte has been shot in the spine and he's dangerously close to death, basically. So right now, we can't do any national focus. I've been kind of exploring the tree a little bit, but... Uh, the rapid decline of society will happen very soon because it says it will after the one expedition too far has completed and I can't do anything else because we cannot have the national spirit political instability which we currently have unfortunately which gives us minus 40% political power but as long as we're not doing a focus we we'll still get about one a day so that's not terrible so this this timing right now this is when we will really see how the, our future in this country will change from what we expect. We might become a different type of power. We might potentially save our dear leader, Sebastian II, but we'll see what happens. Things start falling apart, though. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? Just over a week now has passed since Columbus attempted assassination. We still do not know the identity of the attackers, nor do we know when or even if the Columbus will recover. One thing is clear, however. Much of the country relied on the central authority to just keep running. The Columbus had left no clear successors to his rule, and local governors have used the chaos to exercise more and more autonomy from the orders issued at the capital. Over our borders, vultures are also circling. The Atslan are eagerly eyeing up our borders and to the north. The frequency of the odd occurrence the 5th recon group tried to identify is increasingly is increasing dramatically or drastically at home the situation is just as bad orders are going unfollowed the army is falling apart and the citizens are lining the streets things are getting bad Ooh, a nation in collapse oh oh the broken imperialism oh my oh well, so much attack and defense oh my gosh chaos to the south Pe for petro chico sooner or later the political chaos will calm down somewhat and a power struggle will begin Okay, so we have the rapid decline of society. Well, that's not fun. And then, eventually, we will get the game is on. With the Columbia's illness stretching for on for weeks now, it has become clear a successor is needed. Two hopefuls outshine the rest. The Tejon Clara and the Ejercito's commander, Carlos. Only one can grasp the reins of the country. The game is on. Now, if I can, there is a way to save Columbia, but there's <clears throat> no guarantee that he will get better. I'll put it like that. Wink, wink. But, uh... Yeah, anyways, I mean, even though we must take great care into nursing or attempting to nurse Columte back to health, we must prepare ourselves because everyone else still must live. Just because one individual may die, and he's very, very important, doesn't mean that everything else must stop, for he would not want that. Columte would, uh, would want everyone to continue going on, no matter what happens to him, for he is like our great big... Mayan daddy. Just because something goes down and that he might have to leave doesn't mean everything else must break down. Also, do we need to build stuff? I think we need to build stuff. Cool, yeah. Go ahead and upgrade stuff if you can. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And I purposely let it like that just because... Oh no. Oh no. This could get... This is not good. Oh god, no. <clears throat> so, um, grave numbers from the north. Large number of troops from an unknown foe are massing on a border, seemingly. This could get dicey. So, as you can tell, I have most of my troops on the border against Nueva Atslan. Now, it looks like we might be fighting against Petro Chico very, very soon. Which would be a terrible, terrible thing for us. So, right now, just in case, I'm going to sacrifice... Oh, that's not enough divisions, though. Oh, I need more divisions. And to get more divisions, I need more demo equipment. Which means, to get more demo equipment, I'm going to need to increase this capacity. So, lower this by like 5. Uh, give me that. Because I need that support equipment right now. That'll be good. Uh, it's going to be bad if we get attacked by Nueva Atzlan. But I think, if I can rearrange this for right now, we will be okay. Because we have an army down here, guarding with our puppet. We have, and that's pretty much it. But we can always retreat forces through the waterways because their navy is pretty good. So, just in case, I'm going to have you guard this entire line against Petro Chico just in case something may happen. 
And we have our Spec Ops soldiers here, which need a little bit more equipment for Spec Ops stuff, but that'll come naturally. So let's do that just in case, because it's coming from the north, but Nueva Atzalan might try something, which would not be good. If I have to, I can sacrifice a lot of this territory. As long as they don't get Chichen Itza or close to it, we're pretty good. So we can lose a lot of territory and still be in, in the war for a long, long time. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Um, we're good on resources, actually. What do we need? We need... We're doing land doctrine right now. We can't do anything civilized. Um, let's get some encryption so they can't really read about our stats. That might be good against Nueva Atzlan, but we'll see, definitely see what happens. Uh, I am unsure what's going to happen, I'll be honest with you. I have not explored this that much. These destroyers are kind of sucky. These battle cruisers will be okay. They're not great. Um, I mean, there's really... Just, you might as well just put yourself over here, too. Go ahead and... Tr Everyone's going to train. But everyone's not going to train. I don't know what's going to go on. We might be in a war very soon. So everyone, just go ahead and repair. I mean, we already have 96 naval XP. I'm not too worried about that. I hope we're not going to get into a war anytime soon. 0.53 political power a day. Ooh. But I do have some coffee here. So, I mean, I guess that's a good consolation, right? We got coffee. And we're almost done with that last civilian factory. Good. We're making quite a bit more dynamite every day, which will be great. So we can actually... Of course. Of course. So, Xil declares independence, seizing on her current political paralysis. The already semi-autonomous Tierra de los Tzotzil has declared independence from our rule. Disgusted by our leadership struggles and denouncing our apparent disregard for the people, the elders of Tzotzil have placed Tobias Ray back on the throne to steer the country through the current rough troubles. Reports, though, unconfirmed, seem to indicate that our garrisons in the region have been disarmed. Oh, that's not good. But, if I have to end up in a war against these guys... I'm going to make sure I'm prepared for it. So, go ahead and defend these guys, or defend the riverways. That should be good enough. I mean, there's quite a few waterways around here, but I guess, you know, we'll take what we can get. We'll take whatever we can get right now, because it's not looking good for us at all. I guess the mine calendar is up for us. I guess it is definitely our time. And, ooh, this is not good. That should That should be enough to cover everything, though. So, I'm glad we have enough soldiers to move that around. And we're going to get more soldiers very soon, which is good. And that means I don't have to actually guard your garbage waterways right now. So, that does help us a little bit more with the coasts, which could be good in the future. But let's definitely see what happens. Energy plan, good. They're only doing energy plan stuff. I hope they go to war with Honduras, just because I don't want them to attack me. So, if they kill each other, I'm totally okay with that. They're not my puppet. They're not anything like that. Petro Chico, please, do not go to war with me. Well, oh, what is tribal unification? Oh, non-core manpower, okay. Um, I don't see them having anything that says that they get a annex war goal against me, but they might mess manually do that and... Oh, equipment scavengers return. I'm not going to read this because this is pretty standard in all of Old World Blues, so... More pipe guns, good. More manpower, we got M1... M1 Garands? Actually, M1... Garands? Garands. I think it's Garands. I think it's Gar Garands. And one Garands. And we get a small bonus to researching a lot of different stuff. Oh, thank God we got a few more infantry divisions. <clears throat> uh, right now, I think this is okay enough. I mean, our infantry, I think they're actually a little bit superior to the enemies just because we actually have demo companies on them, which should be good enough. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and begin making a new army that can hold off potentially the caffeine people down here, the coffee people down here. I think that would be probably the most important for now. And that way we can always retreat across the waterways and hold our defenses there. What is this? Cease fire. Um. Crud. Where is that going to take place? Uh, I don't see anywhere on the map. You know what? Just in case, they might attack us for Mexico City again. So, I'm going to put you guys down here. I mean, if we have to retreat up here, that's totally fine with me. Totally, totally fine. No worries about that. Uh, just please don't kill me yet. Oh, there we go. There's. Oh, it's up here. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So, that this was kind of a waste. I don't think they're going to attack me anytime soon, but I could be wrong. Come back up here. I didn't expect them to be, for me to get attacked up here because they didn't say anything. For these decisions. 
Ah, glorious victory! The forces of the remnants of the Petrochico Corp have been repelled from Steel City and a Petrochico repelled. Everlasting victory, more political power, army XP, and double research bonus for something. Cool, very nice job, guys. Very nice. Uh, these were mostly just regular infantry, so... Glory back over here. That'd be great. And you are... Who are you? Um, sure, I'll throw you on the line, too. Cool, very nice. And yeah, we got a little bit more political power. That's good. I want to go to war economy, but obviously we cannot do that. Start expeditionalist. Look at that stability and war support. Jesus, that's so bad. Oh, why? Manpower, we're doing okay. We still lose 10 manpower every week. Political power gain is nice, though. That's only 5%. That's almost nothing. Planes, I can't really do very much with planes at all. If I had to do something with this, we already have so, r industrial research speed, artillery, motorized. I'll probably go with infantry stuff because we're always going to use more infantry stuff. That sounds pretty good to me. All right. Ceasefire. Oh, wait, hold on. Ceasefire on the border. We're all over on. Mm, I don't know where they're going to attack, so I'm just going to prepare myself. Whatever. Just because it says the three states, Mexico City, and then these two border cities where my mouse kind of is. So, I don't know. The border is contested every three or four months. If we fail to ignite a border war as a hardliner's dream, we will face harsh, harsh consequences. Well, to each their own, some would say, I guess. How, what is going to happen? The end of the flower wars. Okay, okay, cool. Following the outbreak of the civil war for control of the Atlan Empire, the importance of the minor skirmishes commonly dubbed the Flower Wars has faded into the eyes of the people on both sides of the border. Instead, the two powerful factions of the Atlan Empire are at each other's throats, and rumor has it that the Atlan War Council are begging Cologne to Sebastian II for intervention. <clears throat> or Itzen War Council. It seems unless it's uh, or placated, <clears throat> excuse me, the Flower Wars might turn into a very real war. Ooh. Oh, no, we actually lose some of those buffs. We lose stability, but we get a little bit more war support. We do lose some political power. And my goodness, when is this focus going to finish? So, that's not bad, but that's not good. This is a little concerning, but I'm going to keep these guys here just in case. For now, at least. Uh, our harvest will still be, hopefully, fairly good. Tensions. This is going... I thought this thing just ended. The flower war has been ceased due to war, diplomacy, or other events. Well, I guess not. So, they're going to attack us here. And we will have to repel them. Alright, cool. I think with eight divisions there, I think we'll be okay. We should be okay. And here, we only need how many divisions? One, two, three. Oh, power is in the air. The country is falling apart. And Columbia is not here to save us this time. However, two people seem to be too busy to dwell on this. The Halash Oingnik, Carlos Franco, and the Tehun Clara Guzman. Instead, they are making moves behind closed doors, counting their allies and negotiating for support amongst the rest, for the stakes have never been higher. The Council of the Elders has been called together at the request of Tehun to decide a successor to Calumte. The Council is expected to choose Clara as the next leader of the Itza, most probably because I have the most support. However, the Halash Uinik and the Grand Generalissimo of the Ejercito, Carlos Franco, is determined to not go down without a fight, for Clara's victory would almost certainly spell the end of the Ejercito as they exist now. Then the next few months are, will not be uneventful. The gods are watching. Oh, I can't choose... Um... I can't choose Colomte, but uh, the gods are with Tehun. Uh, help Clara rise to power. Random events will try and impede our progress. If we cannot win, we will continue to, as a resultant faction regardless. Game, the great game decisions. Autocracy goes down by 40%. Okay, well, I mean, those are the elite, so... Only Carlos and the Ejercito can help us now. Basically the same thing. Uh, I want to try to go with Clara, because we might be able to become civilized, which would be very interesting to see. Cool, the game is on. Now, we can do... Nothing! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, we have to win the power struggle now. Oh, I need political power for this. Beef up the... Merodeodoros. While her power base is in the state, or is a state, Clara's time in the Mer Merodeodoros and subsequent beneficial policies towards the body have meant that Clara can rely on the M in times of need. Expanding their size, however, can no have no downsides. Mm, I love water. Uh, we get a new division, and we get 5% boost to technocracy. We can do that a couple times. Yeah, that's not that's not a bad idea. A 5% boost immediately is not bad. Attempt to treat Columte. Clumped. 
Um, another solution to Claire's legitimacy problem is to attempt to treat the Columte. While unlikely to succeed, it will give appearance to the public that Clara is not after power, unlike the power crazed Carlos. We get 0.27 a day. It's only 10 political power. I can probably do both. So the technocracy becomes more and more popular. Let's do that. Um, the great game is on. Ooh. Uh, healing the Columte, lying in bed, makes makes for a sorry sight. In the weeks following his injury, he has barely stirred from his deep slumber, and our priests grow ever more doubtful by the day that Columte will manage a recovery. With the help of the state, however, a recovery may be possible. By turning some of our researchers away from their previous tasks and toward developing a cure for Columte, we'll be able to claim credibility that we're trying to treat the poor Columte. If we repeat it enough, we might even see success. And he's probably not going to get better, which is okay. So, the great game is on and the power is in the air. A council of elders have been called by the Tehuan Clara, blah 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 blah, on the agency or the agenda of the succession of the Columte, the Kaiser's Legion and Hangdogs. It is highly anticipated that the Tatoon herself will win the struggle, but the Ejercito recognizes this will mean the end of the organization as they know it, and they'll try to prevent it. Uh, the mood of the elders is represented by party popularity. The faction with the largest influence when the council meets will be designated as regent and heir apparent. So right now we are in the lead. And does anyone get any daily gain? Well, obviously we do because we have... Um, uh, Marino Arista. Wait, no. We have Clara here within the laws and government. Uh, Ejercito gets nobody, which is good. Good. So, I mean, if we do nothing, we'll become more and more Clara. I don't mind doing... Beefing up the Merodeodoros. So, that's not bad either. Um, research speed. 38 days isn't bad. We can probably do that ahead of time, just in case we get attacked. Tensions on the border, for example. Appear with a Columpte. Hmm. Claire does not struggle for support within the mechanisms of the state. After all, Claire has been appointed loyalist. Oh, that's not good. Loyalist, key positions for years. However, Clara struggles for legitimacy in the eyes of the public, and a great way to improve this would be to emphasize a connection between Clara and the wounded Columpte, which wouldn't be bad to do either. So, right on the Mer Merodeodoros headquarters. It's an outrageous act that Ezra still have openly clashed with the Merodeodoros around the Merodeodoros headquarters. Under the bogus justification of national security, the Ejercito stormed part of the complex in the early hours, killing hundreds before being forced to withdraw by political outrage and the better trained Merodeodoros troops. Even more outrageous than the attack is their open admission of responsibility, which has confusingly gone far to persuade both the public and the elders they are the best hands to lead us through these troubled times. We lose, oh, we lose 200 manpower. We lose popularity of technocracy, and we get we lose naval dockyard. How dare you? You're terrorists, Carlos. You're terrorists. You're absolutely just a bunch of terrorists. And you know what I do with terrorists? I don't negotiate with them. You you terminate with extreme prejudice. Initiative failures in Nueva Atlan. Though for a time it looked as if our neighbors were moving to seize, things have petered out on the border due to any combination of internal circumstances. Our enemies are no longer making an attempt to seize our territory. Good, we actually could use that political power right now so we can get more popularity of technocracy. Raid the Edricito's headquarters. Oh! We could raid their headquarters. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. They raid us. We're going to raid them then. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Demand an early vote. Oh, that's cool. Yakuza, declare Yakuza territory is declared war on the Pale Folk. Interesting. Um, cease fire on the border. Well, that's not going to happen. Tensions on the border fail. Countdown. Oh, we still have a countdown. Scavenging options. Well, we can't do anything there. Decimation. Very nice. Oh, that's not nice. Actually, we lose some some manpower. Supply use goes up for militia, which we hardly use, and we get better stats for our army overall. And next up, we will do wedge formations for better breakthrough and soft attack. And my cat Binky is outside the door complaining again. Please give me just one moment here. Binky, you always disturb me. Bibi. Hey, Bibi. Come on. Bibi. Binky. Binky? Alright, never mind then. Binky is very special. Very special. When I opened the door, he was just looking around and staring off into space. Very special god. But at least we're still in the lead. Carlos, you are a terrorist. A quite literal terrorist. Now, it won't, I won't consider this person a terrorist if uh, we do the same thing, so... Whatever. Whatever, you know. Just whatever. Nice. They're only 20% influence. That's good. Oh, wait! Oh, we actually got that division. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. A little bit of recon. Man, our special forces. We got a lot of special forces, not gonna lie. Obviously, a lot of them aren't great. And only the Chichan Belize Wak are the only ones that actually have demo support. Binky, you're, de you're literally demanding your way into my room. I left it unlocked. It's slightly open so you can come in. Rebby Bink. Port Maljoy Northern League. Um, cool. Plant cultivation. Plant cultivation. 
Um, let's get some more engineering stuff. We can get vacuum tubes next. Very good. And then reference manuals. Alright, Bink, You okay? Yeah, Binky likes... He loves sleeping in my room, or... He at least sleeps in my room a whole lot ever since my sister left for school. Right, Bink? Or even before then. But anyways, it's because I give him so much attention. Love and attention. A lot of love and attention. Um... Yeah, Mexico... At least we have Mexico City still under us. I mean, it could be much worse. We could be having, like, only 40 factories. Right now, we need to work on our Spec Ops equipment, but we're pretty good on demo equipment, which is nice. Very, very nice. Uh, but... Maybe a focus would just be produce more and more divisions right now. That might be for the best. Within 70 days, we will have countdown to the elder, to the council of elders, where something unexpected occurs. All right. This will determine the popularity. We could demand an early vote. Hmm. We're 38 percent, which isn't bad. But maybe I could demand an. Early, uh, I don't know if I'll actually get up there. 0.26 political power day. That ain't much. And it's not like I have taken a focus, so that really isn't much at the moment. Right, Bink? Looking at himself again. I need to actually take a sip of this coffee. I haven't drank it yet. Alright, it's not particularly hot, but it's not lukewarm. Getting there, though. Oh, uh, we could raid the headquarters. I mean, I could raid the headquarters, but I would lose manpower. I would, have, I would hurt myself by losing that arms workshop, but I would reduce the party popularity. Hmm. Hmm, one man's terrorist. That's another man's freedom fighter, some would say. Hmm. Demand an early vote. I'll never get up there. I don't want to hurt myself by removing that military factory, because every factory counts. Especially if we had to go to war with our former puppet, again, or this combined faction of Nueva Atlan and the caffeinated peoples. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're still good for now. Oh, beef up. Let's get a little more beefy. I like beef. Beef is pretty tasty. Yes, and within 19 days, 20 days, we'll get another division. Actually, I'm not going to say this is too much, but I can't get rid of them once I have them. Which kind of sucks, which doesn't make too much sense for me, but whatever. You know, whatever. Um, regs, we can... Okay, so mm, we we can train the division de Ejercito, but I call them regular divisions anyways, which are better. Oh, well, maybe not. Well, actually, they are better, because mine are... No... Mine are worse, because they have one less infantry battalion, and they have demo, but the other infantry have a little bit of recon on them, but they're 12 combat width. So, 20.4 soft attack, versus and 93 defense, versus 23.7 and 75. So, it's a give and take. I would like to add on some recon, but we only have three research slots. That's not very good. 15 days. At the last second, I'll probably do one more thing here before things go really soft. Oh! Oh, we actually had that division. Nice. We got a lot of spec ops. Not saying they're great, but we got a lot of spec ops. Cool. I'm going to actually add you here, but go ahead and begin creating at least some sort of defensive barrier over here. Alright, keep an eye on this. 12 days. 12 days, guys. Alright, we still got some time for that. Good. Do that immediately. Um, if anything, you guys make your way over here. That would be good. Eight days, and then I will appear with Columbia. I'm not going to heal him. But, uh... I don't want to do that now. Oh, wait, crap. Well, that was a waste. I should have done that earlier. For 15 days. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Things happen. Things don't happen. Besides, Carlos only has 18% support. Mmm, gotta love coffee. Ah, Clara solidifies her power. After months of clever scheming and cunning maneuvers, Tehun Clara Guzman has succeeded in winning over the majority of the Council of the Elders to her cause. So you're both going here, good. Now, following a final vote in the Council, Clara has assumed a position of regent and heir apparent to the Columta, effectively transferring unlimited powers to her with immediate effect. Her immediate reforms seem tame, but the Ejercito is bracing itself for the worst. Um, okay, this hurts us quite a bit more. We focus schemes and stability. Politics will change. Welcome. Oh, Clara Mama. Oh, we actually, we actually get pol some political power, even though we really won't have any once we do a focus. But oh, baby, hello, Clara. Now we can deal with Ezrasito, or we can expand Tehun's bodyguards, so we can actually get more political power, ideology, drift, defense, as well as daily intellectual support. Um. 
I don't know how you actually get to this then. I mean, I guess I could have kept trying to heal Colomte, but we'll see what happens. We can build the Grand Palace, popular populist monarch. More stability, more support. Remove a society. Oh, society and collapse. Broken imperialism, we gotta get rid of. Oh, I, nef I gotta get rid of this. I have to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and expand to Hun's bodyguards. She may be in control of the country, but her rule is far from secure. By expanding her bodyguard, a fiercely loyal group of elite soldiers, more and more of the country can be secured. And damn straight, it can be. Oh. Oh no! We no longer get the effects of Clara. Well, you can do both jobs. You can be both be the leader as well as an advisor to yourself, right? Right? Happy 2277, though. I don't know if I said that earlier, but whatever. Has your seat of control of the military factories? Please, people, do not rebel against us. We are all here trying to do our best. And I really thought we were going to go to war with Petro Chico at some point. But, um... Alright. Crushing... The Jaguar's Ambition. Clipped Claws. Clipped Wings. The Baron's Future. The Bitter Brew. Salt Upon the Wounds. Oh, they get an Annex War Goal against my former puppet. That could have brought me into a war against them, but my former puppet are a bunch of jerks. They actually have quite a bit of manpower, but a few divisions, which they probably won't be able to hold up. Maybe. It is the AI we're talking about here. I don't know how they would perform. Let's do that next. Ah, oh, we expanded. Good, good, good. Make sure we protect our pretty princess. Um, build the Grand Palace. There's no better way to show off your power than building a Grand Palace. I might agree sometimes with that. Uh, and we can do industrial modernization to get some infantry tech. But really, we get an extra research slot, which we could really, really use, as well as become civilized. That's very important. It's on revanchism. Um, one of the focuses has to be con true. completed the focus, death or glory. Ah, uh, we gotta get rid of these guys before we can do it. It's on revanchism, which we'll get down there eventually, but we must focus on ourselves first. Let's see, cease fire on the border. I mean, we already control most things. Militarized society, less weekly stability for more war support. Well, I think we're doing okay for war support right now. So, not too worried about that. Alright, wedge formations. Very good. More soft attack, more breakthrough, and relentless attacker. And then we will get more soft attack and even more hard attack. Alright, so since nothing is really going on, at least in the moment, go ahead and train everyone. Go ahead and split off as well if you need to. That sounds pretty good for me. Good, good. Yeah, we could really, really use some more things. Just more divisions, more of everything to make ourselves stronger. We are trying to build some military factories, which is kind of nice. Um, There's really no good place to build it, maybe except there, and there. And then do it up there. Oh, yeah. Do that a little bit higher. There you go. Cool. Uh, build the Grand Palace. We lose five civilian factories. Oh, well. A popular populist monarch. Definitely do that. Change in technocracy, the last purge. Popular populist monarch is... Clara has two things going for her popularity and her populism. Her charisma has earned her a place in the hearts and loyalties of the people, and her populist promises of stability have ensured her the support of the aristocracy and the political elite alike. Ah, oh, Clara Mama. Ooh, Mama Sita. Cool. Two, three, four... Uh, I would say you actually should come over here because there's more to guard on that side. Reinforce rate sounds pretty good to do. Very nice. Ooh. Decode signals. Let's see, that's good. We'll do some encryption and that'll be it for the engineering side of things. At least for now. Ready, Mink? Mickey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I do not need that. I do not need that. Oh, what's coming up? Tensions alongside the board. Yeah, come on. Come on, fight me, guys. You got, you got this. Yeah, come on, fight me. Come on. Better specs. Yeah, I mean, I could make this 20 width, I suppose. That would make them better, but... I don't exactly have the equipment for it just yet. Hmm, actually, for regular divisions, I can throw on demo companies. I can make these 20 combat width. They give you plus 12... Soft attack and plus 15 defense. Regular infantry gives you plus 15 defense, but only plus 3 soft attack. Hmm. Maybe I'll add in some dynamite or some explosive support into my things. Ooh, initiative failures. I've read this enough time, but we'll get some political power from that. Thank you very much. Oh, what was that? 
kind of surprised they haven't tried to attack us yet. Quashing the Eagle's ambition. Alright, oh, we're working on the Spec Ops stuff. Mm, yeah, definitely working on it. Definitely working on it. Popular, populist monarch. And then we gotta deal with the Ejercito. Very nice little... And uh, last purge. We could do that. We could do that. It's 30 days. Lose some manpower. Actually... Are we still losing... We're not losing any more men every week? Perhaps? Yeah, no, we're not. Nice, great. Great, 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 great. So, um, what we do is the last purge. Well, following Clara's rise of power, she has led a series of purges to various factions in the bureaucracy and army to ensure her power is absolute. The purges are almost ending, but no, but one remains. So we'll do this, and then we'll deal with Ejercito. This might actually be good to do so that when we do purge Ejercito, there's almost no one that would really oppose us in doing that, so. I think that would be a smart move for us. Now we have a very good amount of war support. Okay-ish stability. Okay-ish. Not great. And, yeah. I definitely want to attack this puppet again sometime. And if I have to attack him, I'm just going to straight up annex him. There's no point for them to be liberated or something like that. Atsalan Warfare. Wow. Minus 60% recruitable population. They get less infantry attack and defense, but their special forces are quite good. Lifebringer. All right. Banner of the Feathered Serpent. All right. Treaty of Ox... Aka. Legacy of the Lost, and then the Heart of the Empire, huh? We really focus very hard on infrastructure and other things. Nice. Good. Nice. This is all done for now. Industry. Anything really important here that we can do? Not really. We could do conversion bonus. Eh, we don't really need it, though. Could do ship stuff. We're doing that. Support companies. Like I said, we, didn't, we went with Frag Grenade last time, which is obviously the better choice if you want to do more soft attack. But let's do Flame Work, because I want to see what that feels like. It's going to get very, very hot for a lot of people who are who are our enemies. And I will end the episode soon enough. So yeah, the less strength the Ejercito have, the better for all of us. Um, Guerra's Conviction. I implore the people of the Republic to welcome the, the formation of the government representing the resolve of the downtrodden, the oppressed, and the enslaved to your voices. Who cares what they have to say? The completion of the Grand Palace. The, final, the finally has come. The has finally come. The moment probably has finally come. Nearly three months after construction was ordered, someone is calling me, sell, probably selling me health insurance, but nearly three months after construction was ordered to begin, the Grand Palace of the Itza has been completed. No citizen of the Itza has ever witnessed so anything so grand. Indeed, the palace surpasses the beauty of even the Chichen Itza itself. It is magnificent if you overlook the cost. Ooh, remove a civilian workshop. More stability. And, ooh, grand enough for three king Oh, three kingdoms. Huh. Oh, screw that. We can always build another civilian workshop later on. Manpower? That's no no problem for us right now, right? Awesome. And that, what we just built, I would assume would be similar to the image of my thumbnail, which I thought the image that I took for my thumbnail was pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty decent if you look at the thumbnails. Pretty nice. But anyways, that's pretty much all the time for we had today, but let's see one last thing. The last purge. Um, yeah, not bad. And we'll go with you with Ezra Sito next. They're a troublesome group. They are our elite land troops, relied on heavily for the defense of the borders, or the borderlands, but they are fiercely loyal to their leadership with Carlos at the top. They must be made subservient to us again, one way or another. And right now, we can't go with War Economy, of course. There's really not much else that we can do. Has not purged Clara. Clara. I might do this eventually. Just if I work with time planning speed. Yeah, I'll definitely do this in time. Naval stuff? I mean, there's really not much else for us to do. Don't want to do that. Do that. We will do some naval stuff eventually, so... I guess we'll do ship designer as well as scavenge for equipment. But that's all the time we have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to rescue the Columte, but my hands were quite literally tied. There's not much I could have done. But anyways, leave a like if you liked the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below and tell me hello. I have yet, at the time of this video, had anyone come to Discord and tell me hello as Mr. Mocha Lover. And I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow with our pretty princess queen, Clara Guzman. Thanks for watching.